Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to Eden Secrets. So this is something I promised you a little while ago. I've just been trying to think up the perfect look for a Christmas soap and I will only do one Christmas loaf. Um, I mean, yeah, there's three loaves here, but I mean one batch and I won't do multiple Christmas soaps. I'm just going to stick with one. Um, it's different with the cupcakes, but because um, I've got five of those and then two of the bubble bath cupcakes. But I really just want to stick with one magnificent um, Christmas fragrance. And this one is called The Splendour of Christmas. And the reason I call it that is because it is just the perfect Christmas scent. Um, it's got oak apples, mandarin, orange, balsam, fir, pine and cinnamon and clove. And it's, it's quite heady on the clove as well. Um, it's really, really spectacular and quite strong too. And just perfect for this time of year. And also perfect to get you in the mood for Christmas. Um, I it There aren't many shops in the UK that, well, in fact, I can't even think of one I've been into. But when you go into candle shops in America, they have, at Christmas time, they just have this wonderful Christmas aroma. Um, and I actually used to recreate that in my shop at Christmas by burning Christmas oil. So when people come in, they get that wonderful Christmas fragrance. Um, and so if you like that, then you'll love this. And if you're wondering what I'm listening to, this is the USX Factor. I don't know if any of you have started watching it yet. And I know you may think it's just like, um, American Idol at the moment. And it is the same sort of idea. But it does have a bit of a twist because the the judges mentor the act. They all get a, a group each. One's like, I don't know, the girls, the boys, the over 25s and the groups. Um, and it does put a quite a unique and interesting twist on into the show. So there's a girl, I've just got a girl singing here. I can't remember her name. I'll just quickly go and have a look. Melanie Amaro. Amaro. Um, you'll actually also see how bad my computer internet is at the moment. Um, I've been doing speed tests on it and it's literally only about 130 the speed instead of we can sometimes get a speed of 5000 here. So everything's just taken forever to play through, stopping and starting. A five minute video can take an hour and it literally is driving me absolutely nuts. It's hard to run a business when you haven't got the internet speed. Um, so we're looking into, because we're in such a rural location, uh, getting fiber optic internet round here, but we haven't got a date or anything for that. And I can't wait for it to happen. Mm. Wow. Wow, it smells absolutely magical in the soap. And you definitely get the fruit notes coming through as well. Mm. But I love the love the clove in it but again if you're not into cinnamon and clove this one is not the one for you um, someone asked me a question on a video the other day and I, I just want to mention that um, they said, how do you manage to get every slice the same weight when you're cutting by hand? 
well the truth is that you don't but if you very obviously I've cut lots and lots and lots of soaps in the last six years by hand so I'm pretty good at it um, but it's impossible to get every single slice to wear exactly the same if you do it literally is um, a coincidence and I also know because I've had a lot of soaps that are cut on soap cutters even they're not every slice is an identical weight even using the special cutters and in the UK I don't know if anyone knows this um, if you are cutting soaps from the loaf you actually have to have a proper set of weighing scales um, and you sell it like you would if you were buying a piece slices of meat from the deli um, you sell it by weight so say it's £2.50 for 100 grams and that's how you get your correct price but also you can sell it cut like this like I do now it's different now because I'm not in the shop and I haven't got the weighing scales and I can't do different prices for every single size that I cut so I just say a minimum weight of 140 grams so you're getting 140 grams wrapped for 4 99 but the truth is you might get a lot bigger than that There's so many rules and regulations with selling and making and I have heard all the litigations meant to be going into the States but don't be too frightened of it it's not you know I'm just talking about certifications and things I've had a lot of messages from people who were concerned because they think it's going to put them out of business if they're small. It's really not as bad as you think. Um, you're just paying for your recipe to be certified. And then all the colours and all the fragrances that you use on top of that. Um, and I'm sure everywhere has certain rules and regulations anyway it's just going to be the certifications that are a little bit different and labeling your ingredients in the right order and all that sort of thing oh, i should have cut that piece off as a sample Obviously, we've got a fabulous sprinkling of glitter on the top of here. The shreds aren't quite as green as I hoped in the soap. I really, really wanted them to be vivid, um, but I've not put enough colour in them. But it doesn't matter. It still looks nice. We're never happy, are we? There's always something not quite how we hoped.